Hi guys, today we are going to see about how to use mathematical functions in Grasshopper. Before that, what is mathematical functions? Uh, we can find a lot of videos explaining mathematical functions in online. In this, we will see basic explanation, then we will move on to Grasshopper. Basically, the mathematical functions are a rule or formula that defines the relationship between two variables or more variables. So let's take a simple formula x equal to y. What it means when x value is 1, y value is also 1. If it is 2, y is also 2. If it is 3, y is also 3. So let's see how this translates to the geometry. So I'm going to use online graph to explain how this relationship translates into geometry. So this is x axis this is y axis so as we all know we are going to use x equal to y so if x equal to 1 means y equal also 1 it means in this point so this one so x equal to 2 means y is also 2 this point x equal to 3 means y is also 3 so this point so when we connect these points we are getting the diagonal line so let's put that expression here x equals y we are getting this kind of diagonal line when we use the negative values for x it will give negative y value also so it will give the this kind of diagonal line we will see another example and move on to grasshopper so in this y equals x square if this is the formula what we will get x equal to 1 means y equal to 1 x equal to 2 means y equal to 4 x equal to 3 means y equal to 9 so let's mark that in the graph x equal to 0 means y equal to 0 x equal to 1 means y equal to 1 x equal to 2 means y equal to 4 so when we connect these points we are getting this kind of order if we put this in negative values also then this will give this kind of graph so let's put this formula here x equal to y equal to x square y equal to x square we are getting parabola so let's go to grasshopper and see how we can use this thing in grasshopper in grasshopper we can use evaluate comment to define the functions we can find evaluate in math tab evaluate so in this there are three inputs and one output this is expression where you have to put a formula this is variables so first we are going to use only one variable so i am going to remove this so now what is the expression y is equal to x square so x so for that I am going to use panel to write the formula x square is the expression. Now we need variable x. For that we are going to use some numbers. For that we are going to use range component. In that we have to construct domain. domain we need the parabola so from minus to plus so let's start with minus 9 to plus 9 so in that 9 so in that we need like Six steps. You see the numbers, the panel. Minus nine, minus six, minus three, zero, three, six, nine. So when we connect this variable to x, it will give us a y. Which is so 
if it is still in the right you can just remove it and add it again it will give you the results and then so now you got the x and y so we have to put these points in the rhino then connect it so let's create the points construct points so x value y value so it gives us this points we can connect these points with interpolate component that's all you can play with this number of steps and other things. Thank you.